This is our travel trailer. It's an Intech Discover that we have lived in full time for the past eight months. The Intech Flyer series is a fairly bare bones off-road styled trailer. They do not come with bathrooms, showers, or even a water heater. Our model is only 19 feet in length, but the small size has given us the opportunity to camp in places that are not easily accessible for larger travel trailers. Because of the lack of conveniences, we've had to make quite a few modifications to make the trailer easier to live in, and I want to share some of the things that we've done to make it our home. This is the kitchen, and yeah, there is a lot going on. Because of the limited space, we had to get pretty creative with our storage. Just about everything has a dedicated home. Behind the sink is the knife rack, which stores not just the knives, but a few other utensils as well. At the top of the backsplash, we installed a series of hooks with closures for easier access to bulkier items such as that strainer, and also the closures help keep things on the wall while in transit. Our silverware also mounted to the backsplash, and next to that is a spice rack with all of our spices. We cook a lot, so having the spices readily available without having to dig through the cupboard was a huge plus. Above that is our Milwaukee battery charger and our bulk food storage. Some of the bins contain some canned goods and others dry goods such as flour and rice. We initially had a difficult time finding organization that fit our space and our needs, so we 3D printed most of the mounts, such as this washcloth holder. This one didn't turn out as well as we wanted, so we'll be reprinting it. We also need to print a couple more of them to hold the hand towels as well. Our toothbrushes also live in 3D printed mounts. These mount to the wall and fit the toothbrush case snugly enough to stay put during transit. In my opinion, pot and pan lids are a huge inconvenience to store in a tight space, so these also have custom 3D printed mounts on the underside of the overhead storage. These mounts were designed with travel in mind and are printed with TPU and snug enough to keep the lids in place while we're moving. Truthfully, our fridge is one area that could use some better organization. It is small, and while it works fine for just the two of us, we have to plan our grocery shopping trips around what space we have available. I mentioned previously that these trailers do not come with a bathroom. Space is a valuable commodity when you have less than 100 square feet to work with, so we took a page from the book of van life and put our toilet on 500 pound drawer slides under the kitchen sink. We use a Thetford porta potty which has its own waste tank that needs to be taken out and cleaned about once per week depending on use. So the inside of the pantry isn't too exciting or even revolutionary. But the trailer originally didn't have any shelves in here, so we had to add our own. The pantry door holds all of our oven racks using, you guessed it, more 3D printed holders. And while the pantry door is magnetized shut, we don't take chances of things falling out, so we added a barn door latch to keep everything shut away while we travel. My husband and I are originally from the Pacific Northwest, and we 100% fit that coffee snob stereotype. So when we decided that we were going to move into our RV full time, we needed to bring the espresso machine with us. We also added an oven. This is the Ninja Foodie air fryer combo that we got from Walmart and it is the greatest little oven and I really can't recommend it enough if you're looking for something compact. These appliances sit on a custom rack that is screwed to the wall of the trailer. I'm just going to briefly go over our solar, but I'll go more in depth on another video. We use all Renogy products for our solar power. We have 800 watts of panels and two solar charge controllers. One charge controller is for 400 watts on the roof, and the other is for the 400 watts that are mounted to our tow vehicle. We use a 3000 watt inverter, so we basically run everything except the AC on solar power. In this cupboard below, there are three 100 amp hour lithium batteries and an auxiliary 12 volt fuse block. Also in this cupboard is an 11 gallon fresh water tank. On the outside of the trailer, there are four 100 watt panels on the roof. We've essentially created a solar extension cord using EV plugs on both sides. Now this will allow us to park our trailer in the shade and park our truck up to 30 feet away in the sun, that way we can still charge our batteries. We run the wires through the canopy and up to the roof rack where the other four panels are mounted. So back in the trailer, we use a rolling toolbox as extra counter space and a place to store our clothes. I get one side and Taylor has the other. The mattress is on an 18 inch bed frame, which gives us room to store the rest of our things without it looking too cluttered. This trailer was technically designed to be used as a toy hauler, and while we do use it as such, it makes it really difficult to store much on the back wall. So we use a garage hook system on the top for things that can hang, like jackets, towel, and there's even a saxophone up there. One of our new comfort items we added is a projector and a projector screen, which we can use to watch TV or play Mario Kart. Now I could be wrong, but this might be the world's smallest home theater. 
This trailer came with very basic overhead storage on both sides. To add more security and space, we mounted plastic ammo cans from Harbor Freight to the bottom side of these cabinets. Our air conditioner is a 13,000 BTU Dometic AC that we've modified to use a thermostat. The modification required us to remove a large part of the housing, so we made this cover to hide the exposed insides. And I know going through that trouble for the AC may seem silly, but we live in Texas and this thing runs constantly in the summer and it is so loud. It's nice to not have to get out of bed to turn it on and off during the night. On the tongue of the trailer, we have a Byers Products truck box that holds our external water system and washing machine. When off-grid, we use a loop shower, which recirculates and filters the same four gallons of water over and over, and I'll cover more in depth on that in another video. Our washing machine is a Home Labs portable washer. It's small, but it's efficient for a two-person household. It can fit an entire bed sheet set and uses only three and a half to four gallons of water each load. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing so you can follow our journey as we continue to improve our trailer and finish our truck. If you have any questions about any part of our setup, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.